Hello, and congratulations on getting your first pair of MBT physiological footwear. It'll take just 10 minutes, seriously, that little time to show you how to get the best out of your MBTs. We'll reveal the technology and physical benefits of the shoes, as well as a few tricks for maximizing your use of your MBTs. First and foremost, and this should come as no surprise, MBT isn't your normal kind of shoe. It's a completely new shoe concept, the first ever physiological footwear. Essentially, they activate your body's support and postural muscles. That means MBT trains muscles, relieves the strain on joints, improves posture and gait, and yep, even burns calories at every step and even when standing without you even knowing it. If you've ever walked barefoot on soft, uneven ground, such as sand, moss, or a meadow, you've already experienced the secret effect of MBT. You have to adjust your balance slightly at every step to compensate for the ground's unevenness. This feeling is pleasant and tiring too since it's a perfect natural training opportunity for your body support and postural muscles. Nowadays we hardly ever have the chance to walk barefoot on a natural surface. Walking day in, day out on flat hard ground in conventionally built shoes that unnaturally support and enclose the foot, causing your foot to strike heel toe instead of letting your entire foot stretch naturally and without pressure. This continual foot striking can have a range of negative effects on joints and gait. For example, in typical shoes you'll have an unnaturally forward tilted stance that can lead you to taking too large a step. Above all, the support and postural muscles degenerate. Our body's natural suspension system loses its resilience and along with it comes the associated danger of back and joint problems. So, here's the secret. MBT, or Maasai Barefoot Technology, is the first shoe that allows you to walk and stand on a hard, flat surface while recreating the effects and benefits of walking barefoot on soft, uneven ground. So a good way to start is to stand. The key element of this internationally patented technology is the unique curved sole and the Maasai sensor positioned under the heel. It enables the pleasant rolling MBT walking feeling because it lets the heel sink down as it would on a soft natural surface. Now, in addition to the balancing area under the instep, the Maasai sensor also ensures natural instability to which your body responds with enhanced, more engaged muscle activity. Interplay between the Maasai sensor and the other components of MBT has been increasingly refined over years of testing. In MBTs, the foot extends in a natural, controlled way. Pressure distribution across the sole of the foot is maximized, and over time, muscles you'd forgotten about or previously only hurt become trained and fit. Okay, let's activate our muscles, shall we? Slip into your new MBTs. Make sure that your MBTs are tight on the heel snug on the instep and comfortable around the toes. If you're wearing sandals, make sure your heel is placed at the back of the footbed prior to fitting the straps. Now, stand up. It'll feel a little squishy. Feel how your muscles work and adjust as they respond to the natural instability under your feet. Before you start walking, bring your body into a healthy posture. The easiest way to do this is by inhaling deeply and rolling your shoulders backwards. Stand tall. Now, look forward, not at your feet, and start walking briskly, but in a relaxed way. With every step, land on the middle of the Maasai sensor and roll over the balance area from heel to toe, with slightly more pressure applied to the outside of the sole to prevent the foot rolling inwards or pronating. Your body will soon adjust to this natural, active rolling movement. Take care that your strides are not too long and that your arms swing loosely beside your body. Now you can increase the speed of your steps and move on into a rolling jog trot. This kind of motion, halfway between walking and jogging, is what we at MBT call floating. See if you don't agree. As you float, try to retain your upright stance and a natural rolling movement of your feet. 
Here's a tip. Do take care when floating that you do not bring your knees up actively as you might in normal jogging. Rather, keep your legs loose and let them work from the foot joint. Now, reduce your tempo until you come to a standstill. As before, breathe in deeply and roll back your shoulders to bring your body back to an upright position. Keep your feet almost parallel, hip width apart. Now, roll slowly from the heels to toes and back again. Take care that your feet don't bend in or out and that your knees are kept soft. The swinging motion should not be directed from the hips, but from the foot joints. Feel the midsole balancing area. Sense the balancing area under your instep and now try to maintain your balance on this small raised part. It's like a sand hill under your arch. Now you've achieved an optimum stance in your MBT when the balancing area in your instep is vertically aligned with the knees, hips, shoulders, and ears. Even when you've adapted to your new footwear and wear them every day, you can be sure that your body continues to be activated whenever you wear MBTs. It's the range of positive effects that make MBTs beneficial and attractive for people in all walks of life and with varied needs. For instance, during leisure times, MBTs give a lift to anyone who wants to lead a more active and healthier life and improve their physical health and well-being with every step. Whether strolling through their neighborhood, shopping, visiting a museum, or attending a sporting event. Or, for our weekend warrior or workout fanatic, MBTs are not sports shoes in the normal sense, but can actually be used to aid in recovery after a tough workout or for training after an injury. MBTs are also a top choice for those whose work requires them to be on their feet all day. One can cope better with the most exhausting working day when they wear their MBTs. That's because the musculoskeletal system is taxed less, circulation is improved, which leaves you energized, and back and joint problems can be effectively prevented. And here's the kicker. All these positive effects have not only been observed in practice, but have also been scientifically measured and proven in international research studies. Well, we do our homework. You now know the most important facts about your new MBTs. So, what are the next steps? Walk and stand in your MBTs only as long as you feel comfortable. Your body has to get used to the increased demands, which are subtle, but still there. So don't overburden it with the new training. After a few hours of regular wear a day, normally after a span of one to two weeks, you ought to be able to wear your MBTs all day. Even if there's scarcely a more natural kind of movement than walking in MBTs, you should check your gait now and then. From time to time, pay careful attention to the following three details. First, that your upper body remains upright while walking. Second, with every step, land on the middle of the Maasai sensor and roll over the balancing area from heel through to toe. Thirdly, that you try not to take excessively large steps and that you keep your legs and arms swinging freely. And of course, don't forget to enjoy the gloriously comfortable feeling of walking in your MBTs. After a couple of weeks, it's a good idea to watch this DVD again. Also, to double check your walking technique and recall the most important effects of MBT. Okay, that's all. Thanks so much for watching. You've taken a step towards a healthier, fitter, higher performing you. Enjoy the journey.